Hey, it's Cal Forever here. Just had to do a video in here for the acoustics and it's like the only lyrical song I know on the Ook right now, so it's somewhere over the rainbow. So if you haven't seen my other videos of me singing it on top of Thunder Mountain in Sedona or the last one that I did in the music store, check them out on my YouTube. Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high where the dream that you dreamed of Once in a lullaby Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high where the dream that you dreamed of Really does come true Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high where bluebirds fly Oh why, oh why can't I? And I think to myself what a wonderful world Oh Someday I'll wake up and wish upon a star Look back where the clouds are Far behind me Where trouble melts like lemon drops High above the chin top That's where you'll find me I see fields of green and red roses too And clouds of light white and skies of blue On the brightness of day I love, I love the night And I think to myself What a wonderful world Well, all the colors of the rainbow So pretty in the sky Are on all the faces of people passing by And I see friends shaking hands singing 
How do you do not really singing I, I love you Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high where the dream that you dreamed of Really does come true Someday I'll wake up and wish upon a star Look back where the clouds are Far behind me where trouble not like lemon drop High above the chimney top That's where you'll find me Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high where the bluebirds fly Oh why, oh why can't I Awesome that's kind of my own improvised long version of it, right? So, uh, yeah, I love that song. I love doing the overtones with it. And uh, I've asked around for the longest time, like, 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 what is that original song? And I just found out the other day, it's Wizard of Oz, you know, because that song became really famous probably through the Wizard of Oz, but, you know, Israel Kumo Kaviva Ole, the, the Hawaiian guy that mixed What a Wonderful World with it, the Christmas song, you know? Right? That's a Christmas song, right? That seems to kind of come around the holidays. So I felt like it was kind of appropriate for right now what's happening, where it's like it's Christmas time and there's like these huge shifts in consciousness where like, we're like, like I'm seeing rainbows everywhere, right? Because cause of all the energy coming in and, and my heart just boo, being pumped out, like, you know? Like, 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 like the Lion King, you know? But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I posted a few of these, uh, uh, videos of, uh, quite a few videos, not just of, uh, this song in particular, but, you know, each time I get better at the song, and I feel like I have not got very many views on the videos and I feel like it's it's for for a reason for a purpose we made all this for a purpose <laughs> it is it's like so I don't really take it personally when I'm not getting views I feel like it's for a reason but then lately it's like man I've just like really been like ha having like the realization that it's like I've had like no one like on my side like no one supporting me Except myself and you know there's been some people that have been there for me but it's like you know it's like so many people just like against me and like you know to be honest there are some things that I'm afraid of but it's like not that I'm really even afraid of that anymore I've like faced all these fears and now it's just like you know that's something that might happen if I get in that situation and I don't want that to happen to me it's not that I'm afraid of it it's just like I just don't want to deal with those kinds of energies, you know, and being back here in Kearney, Nebraska, around my family members, you know, I guess I could say I'm afraid of getting caught back up in some of those energies, and there are some real fears there, but 
for me, it's more of a, I just don't want to be a part of that old energy anymore. I don't want, you know, I just went to the doctor to uh, get a claim, file a claim for this lawsuit with one of these medications I was on. I was kind of, I felt like it was an opportunity to cut cords where I was previously before afraid of them trying to put me back on those pills that maybe see in black and white, you know, like Jonas and the giver, you know, he stops taking his medicine. He starts seeing color, you know, and you know, I feel like Jonas right now where tomorrow I'm going to go out on my adventure and I don't know where I'm going. And I feel like, like Jonas punching his friend in the face and being like, fuck you. And then everyone after him and he's like, gotta go for the hills and like escape the barrier so that everyone in his community gets the memories and he brings the memories back and it's like you know but at the at the end of the giver you know jonas has gabriel and keeps gabriel alive by giving gabriel the memories and at the end he gets on that sled sleds down the hill and sees the family in that log cabin in the woods putting christmas lights on the christmas tree so you know, I feel like something good's gonna happen, and by golly, I'm gonna get fucking mad if I don't get what I want for Christmas, and I don't know what I want for Christmas, but my heart's saying that there's something that I want, and I'm hoping that, that that'll come my way, and I'm like at my wits end with a lot of stuff, but I mean, just things are what they are, and what else could I do other than doing the best that I can, which is me right now in this moment, and... I've gone through so many things, not just lately, but like the past two years. And then I look back two years before that, I went through like a two year death process where I was like, I died every day. And it was like, 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 I don't want to get too into that, but it was just like panic attacks every day and like shaking and feeling like I was disappearing. It felt like I didn't have a body and it felt like I didn't have arms. And it was just like really I don't even, I mean, it was weird, but it was just like, like it hurt. And in like trying to tell people around me, they're like, oh, just take your anxiety pills. And it's like, those made it worse. And it's like, I have been through the ringer. My heart has and everything. And no one's understood me. And I feel like no one still understands me. Even people in the spiritual community. Probably the only person that I feel like could understand me is Matt Kahn. I feel like he's gone through a lot of the same experiences that I've gone through. And I feel like, you know, he's a little older than me. He's like in his 30s, I think. Maybe his 40s. I don't know. He's older than me. And it's like... So he probably went through this. Well, he went through this before me. And so it's like, he's like ahead of me. And so it feels good to have people that are going through these same experiences. But yeah, this is, I'm, I'm raw here. I'm like, I've always been raw. I've always, you know, been, been myself. Maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm real. You know, reality is here. You, you consciously move from your brain into your heart. It's like the scene on the Matrix where Neo takes, takes I think the blue pill and he goes down the rabbit hole into the Holy of Holies, the bottomless pit. And and it's like, it's like when you move in there, it's like the whole world flips upside down. And you see, it's like, like how I described it before. It's, it, it's like, it's like my life was like a snow globe and someone slowly turned the snow globe of my life upside down. I saw life from a whole new angel. A whole different angle of life and then someone just shook the shit out of the snow globe and like all this stuff welled up inside of me and like I had to deal with it and clean it out so it was like I was liberated and had surrendered everything it was just like all the layers just needed to come off and it's taken about two years and now I feel like I'm done oh <sighs> and it's like it's like I can finally breathe <sighs> and I breathe a lot